anthems of Ireland, followed by Scotland. Stay tuned for some quality hockey after the anthems. Just about ready to go, so umpires. Ready to go umpires. And we are live, we are live. With the ball playing from right to left, from right to left. The island supporters in full voice, full voice in the stands, singing the national anthem to their players. Scotland now winning the hit just outside the 23 meter area. Looking for a direct ball into the DR Scotland. Great tackle. Irish defenders unlucky to not get the blow there. Another great tackle from Ireland. Scotland putting plenty pressure now on the boys in green. Number eight for Ireland. Clears the ball to safety. Picked up by Scotland around the 23. Once again, Scotland in possession. Attacking down the right hand side. Unfortunately, just can't get a hold of that. The captain for Ireland, Andrew Cook, now on the ball, wide for his team. Lovely bit of individual skill from the number 56 of Mark Murray. Ireland once again winning the hits on the sideline. Cook, the captain, throws an overhead. It is intercepted, but well received by the Irish as they now look to transfer the ball to the other side of the field through the captain. Peter Pollock now on the ball. Great interception there in the midfield from Scotland. Unfortunately, gives possession back to Ireland. Once again, some great defending from Scotland in the midfield here. Get the hit. Peter Justice on the ball now, looking for a line ball. Finds Kenny McNally. Big tackle coming in from Ireland. Umpire has deemed that to be illegal. Great ball down to the baseline here for Scotland in a very good attacking position. Unfortunately, just doesn't get a hold of that ball going into the circle. Big tackles from the Scotland defenders. The umpire playing good advantage here for 
Island, massive tackle, and that will be a, a big warning from the umpire to the number 13 of Scotland, Mike McEwen. He's made a huge contact there with Andrew Cook, the captain for Ireland. Time has stopped. Captain not happy with that contest. Looking for a card, but play will just restart with a free hit for Ireland. Unfortunately, plays it straight back into the midfield where it is intercepted by Scotland, who are now on the attack once again down the right hand side. Ball goes through to no one. It will be a long corner. Scotland once again making a run down the bottom right hand side of the goals. Ball comes into the circle. It will be another long corner. Big words coming in here from the players on the pitch towards the umpire. The umpire just stopping time to have a word. I shouldn't be having too much debate with these players. After all, she is the official with the power, and her decision is final. Scotland will now restart with a long corner. Once again, down the right-hand side. Lovely inside tuck there from Scotland. The backstick comes in across the goal. Shot comes in. Great save from the island keeper. Another shot is available. Ball off the... Island stick and a short corner is awarded to Scotland for the danger there. Great passage of play for Scotland, really putting pressure onto the island defenders, asking questions of the goalkeeper as well. Scotland now will be looking to find the back of the net off the short corner. Ball comes to top D for the straight poke. It is lifted, unfortunately. That will be a hit out for Ireland. They look to play it quickly. Find themselves in a bit of trouble here, do Ireland? Great passage of play for Scotland once again as they're putting immense amounts of pressure on the Ireland. Back four here. Nice transfer for the Irish overhead looks to be thrown. Unfortunately, no one is on the end of that, and that will trickle over the sideline for a Scotland hit. Fifty fifty ball into the midfield. Won't be picked up by the Scots. Now in possession is the Irish down the left hand side of the field. Finds a foot there of the Scots player. Ireland now on the counter. They've got numbers in the D. He finds a centre forward. Looking for the connecting pass. Umpire says nothing of use there. A stick tackle is eventually blown. And Scotland come away with the ball. Another warning from the umpires about the tackles that we've had. Ireland not too happy with where the hit's been taken. Scotland do come away with it down the line. Lovely ball into the midfield. Another big tackle from Scotland. It's a fiery encounter here, folks. Both teams not giving an inch in terms of physicality. Free hit one by Ireland, playing it quickly. They have numbers up. Deciding to slow it down. Just let their forwards get into better positions up front. 
That pass not going to hand. Scotland now once again in possession. Falls kindly for Ireland. Looking for the, his man at top D. Still possession with Ireland. Running down the right-hand side now is the number 34 Ireland. Looking for any outcome, unfortunately, doesn't find one. Another stick tackle gives possession back to Scotland. Great communication there from the island keeper, making sure his defense knows exactly where their men are. Ireland last night against South Africa lost 2-0. Scotland playing Netherlands, losing 3-0 as well. These teams are currently at the bottom of Pool B, looking for a win here. Put them back in contention. Lovely transfer now from Ireland as they look to move the Scottish defenders. A lovely ball through the midfield, finds the... The centre forward, but unfortunately he couldn't mistrap it. It will give Scotland the ball. Through the number 22 of Dennis Monks. Great transfer from Scotland as they look to play the midfield. Ball goes up off an Irish stick. Ireland regather. Lovely transfer to the number 9 of Garth Hanlon. Loses the possession and the umpires say play on. Both teams not happy, expecting some sort of blow. But Scotland still in possession. Through the number 50 of Neil Sharp. Ball gets played into the D there, unfortunately. Andrew Wyatt couldn't get on top of that one. The ball... We'll roll over the 16, the, the back line for a 16. Unfortunately, a long corner is awarded. Scotland now once again on the tack, moving the ball five, playing it into the D. No one's there. That now will be a 16 for Ireland. The captain, Andrew Cook, on the ball. Full press coming in from Ireland. A massive chuck finds the number nine of, of Garth Hanlon. The ball just bouncing up onto the bench here. Peter Pollock sends it round. The keeper for Ireland calling for ball pace from his defensive unit. Long ball goes... Finds the number 28 of Ireland down in the bottom left-hand corner. He'll be looking for a connecting pass. I couldn't, of course, she couldn't find one, but it is back in possession with Ireland in that left-hand corner. It will be an Irish hit now for Scotland coming away with the possession there, taking a deflection off another Ireland stick. So Scotland still with the ball. A lovely bit of use from the fetches there from Scotland through the captain of Kenny McNally. Up the line now, step by the number three of Peter Pollock from Ireland. As Ireland now have a massive counter opportunity, but a mistimed pass into the midfield there gives Scotland the op opportunity to attack. Slows it down to the number 50 of Neil Sharp. Neil Sharp once again on the ball, looking for a big ball into the circle. Unfortunately, he doesn't get picked up by Donald McFarlane. Number 6 for Ireland doing well there. Trying to get the ball out to the side. Ireland not happy with the umpire's decision there. 
just a bit unsighted there. Didn't maybe miss the foot. Ireland now forced to defend. Scotland really on a strong passage of play. Big tackle from Scotland. Ireland now looking for their number 28 in Guy Banton at the top. Unfortunately, just doesn't get a hold of that. That'll be another 16 for Scotland. Turned over by Ireland in the midfield as they now look to counter. Bit of a scuffle happening in the middle of the field. Umpire is watching it. He's warned both players. Peter Pollock now chasing the ball back for Ireland. Fires it up the line. Finds his... Number 13 in Mike McEwen. Lovely passage of play for Ireland now as they have a massive go-ahead and a de-entry. Finds some space on the right shoulder. Shot comes in. Great save from the Scottish keeper. Ball is played over the sideline there for a Ireland restart. And then looking for a direct ball into the D. Doesn't quite get a hold of that. Scotland come away with it and will win the free hit. Scotland moving the ball around the back very nicely here. Looking to hit their fetches, which are a little bit deep. So that means that there's a massive gap between the link line and the forwards for Scotland that the defenders will struggle to outlet to. Another big warning for the Irish on their tackles and that must definitely be a personal penalty after just being warned Ireland with another massive stick tackle. That ball will roll over the baseline and here the umpire now stops time to award the card to the number 56 of Ireland, Mark Murray. It seems it's not Mark Murray. It is the center back for Ireland. Number 46 it is from Neil McKay for that harsh challenge just on the halfway line. Massive hit comes through the middle. No one on the end of that, and that'll be a 16 for Scotland. Scotland outletting now down the right-hand side. Beautiful use of the overlap here. Number 12 from Scotland. Paulus slowing the ball down, unfortunately, finds the foot of the Irish captain, Andrew Cook. Once again, Scotland on the attack down the right-hand side of the field. Ball comes in, no touch, and it's a 16. Water to Ireland. Once again, a full press implemented here by Scotland. And overhead comes into space. What a chuck. The center forward for Ireland is really trying to get on top of that, but unfortunately didn't. The ball just running away with him from him over the baseline, awarding Scotland a hit on the sideline. And that brings us to the end of the first quarter where we remain goalless. We've only had the one short corner from Scotland, a very tight and fair where neither team is giving an inch. Join us after the break for the second quarter.
that waiting for the gun, the nerves are just too much, thinking about what is about to go down. And there goes the horn to start the race. No, I think it's really amazing. And now the whole setup and people are dressed up. We're giving something, I think, to the people is just fantastic. The support on the side of the road is, is second to none, and that gives you the extra oomph. I really enjoyed it. The scenery is beyond what I could imagine. I, I seriously enjoyed it. I met so many wonderful people on the way. Really enjoying Cape Town. People seem to really appreciate artwork here, which is really nice. Come and visit Cape Town. We are waiting for you with open arms. We welcome you here. It will remain a city of hope and opportunity for everyone, not just in Cape Town, but around the country and the world. And he takes the tape. Welcome back to this fiery encounter between Ireland and Scotland where we remain goalless. Both teams putting in a massive physical effort here. Ireland still with a man in the sin bin for a harsh tackle. Both teams sharing the possession evenly. Scotland with a few more chances, earning themselves one short corner in the game so far. Big hit comes through, looking for the center forward of Christopher Townsend, but unfortunately couldn't find him. It does re result in a 16 for Scotland. There seems to be a stoppage in time here. Possibly an issue with numbers. It seems as if Ireland had 11 men on the field. Possibly a bit of confusion with the, the man in the sin bin. Ireland were supposed to only start with 10 men until the card time ran up and it seems as if they had started with 11 and unfortunately the captain now for Ireland will get a green card for this infringement. Andrew Cook will be forced to take a two minute suspension on the bench. Right, we're going to restart here with a bully. So both teams will touch the floor, touch sticks, and then Ireland gives the ball back to Scotland. Scotland now on the attack down the left-hand side, looking for a ball through the midfield. Well picked up by the right back of Ireland. Nice little touches here for Ireland. Controlling possession, unfortunately loses it to the number 50 of Scotland. In Neil Sharp. Now down the right hand side comes Scotland with some pace. Ball comes in across the circle and a short corner is awarded. The second one of the game for Scotland. Ireland with still a man in the Sinbin for the numbers issue at the start of the quarter. Scotland will be looking to convert here during the passage of numbers up.
Scotland setting up once again with just the one castle, number 18. And Donald McFarlane on top D waiting for the ball. This is a pushes a miss. Scotland come away with the shot. Still with Scotland as they looking for another short corner, but unfortunately Ireland are awarded the hit out. Now Ireland with a little overhead to the right back. Carrying the ball down the right hand side. Great defensive work from the Scots here. But number three from Ireland, Peter Pollock manages to find a through ball. My goodness. Great performance there. Unfortunately, that ball is intercepted by a Scots player and they are now coming back into the tack through Neil Sharp. A linchpin in the Scots side, it seems. Controlling the possession in the midfield. Both teams are back to full numbers here. Ireland now attacking down the left-hand side. Great interception from Scotland in the midfield. Can he get there in front of the ever solid Peter Pollock from Ireland? Unfortunately, a just a missed trap here will give Scotland possession back. Dennis Monk sends the ball into the midfield, gets it once again. Lovely change of channel here from the Scots now. Neil Sharp in possession of the ball, sends it down to the T-point. Scotland looking for an upgrade. Unfortunately, it is just a long corner. Neil Sharp fires the ball in, well defended by Neil McKay from Ireland. Mark Murray now, unfortunately loses possession there. But Ireland do come away with the free hit. A big overhead is thrown to try and find Christopher Townsend, which unfortunately just hits his body. Scotland now looking for their high-lying striker, striker. Wins the free hit. Great blind press here from the number six in David Sterrett of Ireland. A big stick tackle coming in from Scotland in a crucial time of the game. He's lucky to get away with just a free hit there. Now Ireland on the front foot looking to transfer the ball. There are numbers in the D if they can find them. Peter Pollock once again showing a great bit of individual skills. Running down the right hand side. Fires the ball into the D. Finds a Scotland stick still with the Irish as they get into the D. Winning the hit just outside. Very fortunate there from Scotland. Mark Murray now on the ball. While looking for the foot, doesn't find it. Still in possession. Probably going to send one in here. Does. We'll find the foot outside. No advantage deemed by the umpire. Once again, Ireland in this bottom hand corner looking for something. Lovely bit of individual skills there from Andrew Cook. Ireland still with the ball. Being stuck in this bottom right hand corner. Losing the ball are Ireland now. Scotland very happy to come away with that unscathed. Call it, call it 
Big hit from Scotland. Will not find anyone. Paul Dixon now sends the ball into the midfield for Mark Murray, but unfortunately he gets dispossessed. Scotland now on the attack down the right-hand side through Derek Linden. Beautiful ball into the midfield there from Linden now. Scotland looking dangerous in the midfield. Ross back to Linden. Linden now running down the right-hand side. Fires the ball and takes the deflection off an island stick. It will be a long corner. Great tackle from the number eight of Stephen Galway from Ireland. Winning his side, the free hit. Ireland wasting no time here. Straight through to their midfield. Once again, Neil McKay on the ball. Great chuck from Peter Pollock at the back. Then Getty will get onto that ball, but unfortunately, Derek Squire couldn't trap that. Scotland playing the ball quickly. Nice bit of play into the midfield, looking for the high line striker. Touch falls favorably for Ireland, as now they look to outlet down the right hand side. Peter Pollock showing off some skills once again, looking for a pass. Great tackle there from the Scotland captain in Kenny McNally. Unfortunately, the hit goes against him. Big chuck from Pollock here, but unfortunately it doesn't get overheads. Still with the ball on Ireland, looking for an outlet down the line. They do have numbers. Decide to go back, keep composure. I banter just shouted to me from the bench, giving a shout out to all the people in Greystones that are currently watching the stream. Just know he appreciates your support. Ireland coming away with the ball once again here. Looking for a big hit up the line, just misses it slightly. Still with Ireland though. Another little passage of play. Ireland coming away with the free hit. They have numbers in front, up to stay composed down the left-hand side in the channel. Great tackle from the number 20 of Scotland. Derek Linden looking for the free hit, doesn't get it. Unfortunately, David Sterrett could not find that ball. Rolling over the back line, giving Scotland a free hit. Scotland defenders under lots of pressure now. Sterrick makes the interception. Lovely play here from Ireland as they look to attack down the right-hand side. A massive tackle and a short corner awarded to Ireland. The tackle coming in from the captain, Kenny McNally, conceding a short corner to the men in green. Ireland with the first short corner of the match will be looking to take the lead here. Setting up with just the one castle. Looks like for a straight poke. Injection is good. Straight poke comes in. Great save from the keeper. It will still be with Scotland as they clear it up the line. Looking for a counter attack. Lovely bit of defensive work from Ireland now as they look to transfer the ball. Unfortunately, 
Peter Pollock, the usual right back, is stuck all the way in the top of the field after he just take, took the straight poke from the short corner. Eventually, Garth Hanlon finding some space on the right-hand side. He'll look to outlet through the middle of the field. Hits the foot of Neil um, Sharp from Scotland. Now, Ireland once again on the attack. Being blind pressed here are the Irish winning the free hit. Number, number 18 of Donald McFarlane, not too happy with that blow. Just over three minutes left in this encounter. Unfortunately lost there by Garth Hanlon. Now Scotland on the attack. Big hit into the midfield, finds a stick. Scotland still trying to get the ball out of this channel. Ireland come away with the hit, looking to take it quickly is Andrew Cook. Mark Murray finds a deflection. It will be a hit to Ireland. Crash ball comes in, unfortunately, deflected for a long corner here. Mark Murray looks like he's on the ball here. Down to the right hand side. Go Ireland through that man, Peter Pollock. Unfortunately, that is found a foot of the Irish player. Keeper coming out to play it. Helps his number 46 in, Neil McKay. Lovely bit of hockey shown there from the keeper. Great skills from him. Ireland now under the pump here. Scotland, the attackers piling in to press these forwards. Lovely pick up from the number 36 in, Said Reid. Scotland now with the ball. With around a minute left in this second quarter. The Irish boys are showing their speed. Unfortunately, couldn't get to that one. And the number 18 for Scotland, Donald McFarlane, once again, fires the ball through to the middle of the field. Great interception there by Andrew Cook of Ireland now. Ireland will look to reset. Bit of trouble here on Ireland. Great tackle once again. Unfortunately, Scotland will come away with that hit. Dennis Monks fires it in. Unfortunately, no one is there. He's not happy with that waste of possession. With one minute left now, a massive overhead looks to shapes to throw an overhead, but tucks it inside. To the number 56 of Mark Murray. Neil Sharp takes it quickly for Scotland on the line. Looks to move at five. Finds his counterpart in Kenny McNally. Fires it in. Great defending from Ireland. As now once again Mark Murray on the ball. Great through ball to Ian Getty, who's running down the left-hand side. Big tackle coming in from Scotland, and a short corner is awarded to Ireland, the second one of the game, and it looks like a personal penalty in the form of a green card. Will follow for the Scottish defender for a breakdown tackle inside the D. He will have to serve a two-minute suspension in the Sinburn. Scotland now will... Defend with their lives, not to concede here just before the half-time break. Ireland once again setting up with one castle with the man Peter Pollock on top D, waiting for it. It looks as if it's an early break from Scotland. Ireland now should see a variation from Ireland as there's one less man coming forward in the form of a second wave. Peter Pollock still waiting for the ball. On top D. 
Push is slightly skewed. Doesn't go outside the D. Peter Pollock. Make sure it goes in. Mark Murray fires it into the D. Still in possession of Ireland. With seconds left on the clock, Ireland will look now to fire the ball into the D through Peter Pollock. Unfortunately, I think that will be the end of the half where we remain goalless here in this classic clash between Ireland and Scotland. Both teams giving nothing in the form of physicality. It's been a great encounter so far. Stay tuned for some quality hockey after the break. At thehockeysite.com, it's about what happens in the locker room. Thinking about the game. It's about planning and preparation. And about training and improving those skills. Looking at it from different angles. But of course, it's also about teaching them to score and win. Thehockeysite.com. Share the knowledge.
Welcome back to the second half of this fiery encounter between Ireland and Scotland. We remain goalless. Scotland getting a nice start there. Now playing from left to right on your screens in the blue kit. Ball comes in. Well managed by the Irish. We find some space now on the right hand side. A lovely connecting pass to the centre forward. Great tackle from the Scottish there, keeping his side out of trouble. Scotland come away with the hit on the sideline there. Lots of pressure being applied for Ireland. It's still with the Scottish. Nice little interception there from Irish number six, but unfortunately it has hit his foot. Big hit comes through from Scotland. Well picked up by the defenders. Murray now on the ball. Fires one to the centre forward who Got some space on the left side of the D, unfortunately looks for the cross, but unfortunately doesn't convert that. Murray now once again on the ball, fires the ball into the D. Once again the striker finds himself in a bit of space with the keeper, but can't make that trap. <coughs> Ireland have had two threatening chances early on here in the second half. They'll be looking to convert some of this into scoreboard pressure. Now Scotland up the right hand side looking for the line ball. That will unfortunately run away from the number 13 in Mike McEwen. Great bit of play there from the island, number eight. But unfortunately, the umpire is deeming that ball was not taken from the correct spot, and Ireland will have to bring it back. Big hit comes from the number eight of Ireland to the left wing. Getting a bit of a shove there, still with Ireland. Neil Sharp makes a tackle there from Scotland. 
Scotland now coming down the line. Brilliant ball, unfortunately, just runs over the sideline there. Looking for his right wing, he just couldn't get a hold of that. It will be an Ireland free hit on the sideline. Full press once again from Scotland. There's plenty of space in the midfield for Ireland as soon as they can get past the first line of defence. And it is still with Ireland. And wise words of, from the Scotland players there. Not happy with the blow, but it is what it is. Over here, just falling onto the number 11 of Stuart Norman's body, giving Ireland the free hit in the attack in 23. There is with Stephen Galway now. He'll look to move the ball five. Tries to go out to the back. Ireland showing great composure here, moving the ball across to the other side of the field, looking for gaps in the midfield. Murray once again on the ball for Ireland. Great bit of skill looking for the number six of David Sterrett in the corner, but unfortunately he will just run out of time there. Scotland now from the outlet. Ireland with a traditional arrowhead press. Trying to keep the ball outside of the midfield, which unfortunately they couldn't do. They will regain the ball though through the captain. Andrew Cook now on the ball. Finds Murray in the middle. These two have been a dynamic duo today. Murray and Cook always looking for each other. And as I say that, we have a shot away from Ireland. And another shot. Great save by the keeper. Still the ball is in the danger zone. And a hit out is awarded to Scotland. There were some flying sticks there. Looks like the Irish centre forward might have caught one. But everyone looks to be all right. Scotland once again now looking to outlet through the middle. Great use of the fetcher. Unfortunately, couldn't find the outside half. Ireland now once again on the counter attack. Great use of the field there. There it's on the ball. Finds Murray down the corner. Big hit comes in. Great defensive work there from Neil Sharp. Really doing bits for his Scottish side today. Scotland with the ball now, clearing it up the line. Must trap from Ireland, gives the ball back to Scotland. Sharp again on the ball. Great interception there from Murray. He is truly all over the field. Is the number 56 in Mark Murray. Really doing his but asking for a sub now as he is feeling the heat in temperatures upwards of 26, 27 degrees. It is really hot here in Cape Town. Island now using the width of the field. Great tackle from the number 18 of Donald McFarlane. Regains the ball now. McFarlane looks for the overhead. Unfortunately, he doesn't find his man in the middle. Murray looking for the transfer, taking it out the back. Under pressure from Neil Sharp, also a crucial player here in the Scottish side. Ireland now looking to go up the right-hand side through the number 26 of Paul Dixon. Finds the danger man, Murray. Scotland, uh, Ireland still with it down the right hand side gets a deflection from Scotland they will have the free hit Ireland once again through Murray now on the right-hand side of the field. 
still with the position in the in the middle of the field. Great advantage shown by the umpires. Regained by the number 26 of Paul Dixon, who gets that on the baseline. Ball comes in from Ireland, finds the foot of Neil Sharp from Scotland. Possession will still be with Ireland through the danger man. Mark Murray, who decides to take the hit quickly, looking for the deflection into the D. Unfortunately, no one will pick that up and it'll be a sideline hit for Scotland. Scotland now going around the back. Found some space on the left-hand side of the field there. The number 13 in Mike McEwen calling for the ball. Unfortunately, that evades everyone and it rolls over the baseline for a 16. Danger man, Mark Murray, has taken a break off the field. Looking tired on the side, really doing his team a great job this afternoon. See how they fare without him in the midfield. Dixon on the ball. Mistrapped overhead. Ireland looking for a back stick. Unfortunately, the umpire does not give it to him. Scotland now with the D entry. Great Recovery there from Peter Pollock. That ball rolls over the sideline there. And a short corner is awarded for the Irish player not being five metres off the restart. Third short corner for Scotland. Let's see what they can do. And once again set up with just the one castle. Injection is slightly to the right of the castle. Great little bit of defending there from the postman. And a free hit is awarded to Ireland. now looking for an outlet through the overhead down the right hand side lovely piece of play from Ireland looking to find a player down the line oh big collision there obstruction is deemed by the umpire will still be with Ireland Ireland now once again in possession through Dixon. Dixon goes on a run down the right-hand side. Looking for his partner. They will still get the free hit. Dixon once again on the ball. He's really stepped up into Murray's role here. Great. Little trap from the Scottish centre forward. Now, plays it to the right. Looking for numbers up top are the Scots. A nice pass out to the right-hand side. Fires it through the middle, but once again, that solid defender in Peter Parker finds his counterpart at top D. Still with Ireland as the shot comes in. Stopped by the Scottish defender. And a bit of physicality shown here once again by both sides. Big warning for the Irish there with that challenge. A great shift from Dixon as now he is replaced by Murray. Back into the midfield. Big hit into the midfield. Well picked up by the number 12 of 
Carlos Michelin from Scotland, still with the ball, looking for a connecting pass to his forward, finds him. Mike McEwen now on the ball for Scotland, down the right-hand side. Great tackle from Ireland. They, Scotland will still have possession in the bottom right-hand corner. Ball comes in for Scotland. Finds a striker on the P-spot. Unmarked and he manages to finish that to the left-hand side of the goalkeeper. What a goal by Scotland. They take the lead here in a goal which is slightly against the run of play. Ireland seeming to have all the possession in this third quarter. Scotland fighting back with a goal to take the lead. Danger man, Mark Murray now once again on the ball, looking for an outlet, skills three players. My goodness, that is some silky handwork from the center link. Find some space on the right-hand side now. Ireland still with the ball through the number nine of Garth Hannon. Unfortunately, gets tackled, but still wins the free hit. Hannon sends it out to the back where Ireland will look to recycle here. Big ball attempted in here. Finding the foot of a Scottish player. Ireland still with the free hit. None other than Mark Murray will be on the ball, running it. Players not five. Ball comes in to the D. Unfortunately, the umpire says that Murray did not move the ball five meters before playing it into the circle. Ireland now committing to a full court press. Can they cut the pass to the right back? Unfortunately not. Scotland now find themselves in a bit of space down the right-hand side. A long ball up to the right wing. Lovely bit of play tackled by the left back of Ireland. Just slowing the game down. Neil Sharp once again on the ball. The captain, Kenny McNally, in the midfield. Finds his center link. Scotland still with the ball. Sharp out to the right back. Bit of blind pressing coming here from Ireland, but they managed to find Scotland managed to find the captain in Mark uh, Kenny McNally. Once again, the danger man Mark Murray to the rescue for Ireland. Ireland just throwing a ball into the 23 of. Scotland give themselves some breathing space. Island supporters finding a voice now to encourage their boys. Keeper once again has come out to cut that ball off. It will be a 16 for Ireland. player there. Tackle is awarded a short corner to Scotland for that tackle on the top of the D. Scotland now with the fourth short corner of the game. They'll be looking to extend their lead. And that is the end of the third quarter. Scotland will bring all their players up to the top of the D. The time is finished and the play will be stopped when, when the ball leaves the five meter area. So Scotland will now try to ensure that that does not happen. The ball comes in, a slight mush push. Shot is on target. Danger is blown and a reward of the short corner is given to Scotland for their fifth short corner of the game. Get 
Once again, Scotland will have a chance to extend their lead. Bush is better this time. The straight poke comes in and it's a goal. Once again, against the run of play. Scotland with a second penalty corner goal to double their lead at the end of the third quarter. Ireland now with a bit of a hill to climb to take the win here. Let's see what they have for us in store in the fourth quarter. And we're back for the final quarter of this encounter between Scotland and Ireland. Scotland taking the lead by two here, coming into the last quarter. Ireland definitely holding most of the possession, controlling the game. Scotland coming back with two quick-fire goals. Scotland looking for the hit there. Won't get it. The danger man, Murray, on the ball again. Murray really has had a clinical game so far. Controlling the midfield. Not forcing anything. The number 13 captain of Ireland, Andrew Cook, sends it to their midfielders. Cook once again on the ball. And a massive tackle from the Scotland centre forward. And that will be a yellow card, a five-minute suspension for the Scot. Ireland now with a man up for five minutes. They'll be looking to take charge of this fixture here. Ireland once again over to the right-hand side looking for... time had not started after the award of the card so Ireland will get a second chance here to restart Right, Ireland back in possession to the danger man. Paul Kingston getting a bit out of shape there in that tackle and concedes the hit to Scotland. Scotland now looking to just slow the game down, you'd think, being 2-0 up, but unfortunately rush it a bit and a pass goes to no one over the baseline. That will be a 16 to Ireland. Ireland now quickly on the 16 to Murray in the middle back out to Pollock on the right hand side 
Ireland still coming away with it. David Sterrett just being told there by the umpires to not be too eager as the hit was fairly far behind him. Great looking transfer here from the Irish and that unfortunately hits the Scots in the in the hip area so that will be a free hit to Ireland. Ball comes into the D, is loose, McClure finds a touch, keeper is forced to make a save. Benjamin Mark Murray once again on the ball, he likes to play it out to number 46 Neil McKay, fires it in. 50-50 ball here from the Irish and Scotland come away with the hit. Remember Scotland are still down a man here. Big hit coming through the middle. Picked up by the number 13 of Andrew Cook. Still Ireland in possession of the ball here. Great tackle there from Neil Sharp. Wins the hit, unfortunately concedes the hit there to Ireland. Ball is moved five. Plenty of green shirts in the D as it gets fired in. Still with the hit is Ireland. Moving the ball five to the danger man, Murray. Gets a bit of a shove from behind. Still with the ball. Fires it in. Takes a deflection off the Scottish stick. It will be a long corner. Ireland will look to get an outcome from this passage of play. Number three, Peter Pollock once again on the ball down the right hand side. He's got a big hit on him. Sends it in. And just a deflection opportunity missed by the number 28, Guy Banton. Unfortunately, couldn't get a stick on that. A great opportunity for Ireland there as the ball rolls across the face of goal. Scotland now being pressed heavily in the corner. A big hit comes, well picked up by the Irish. Unfortunately, he just lands on his foot. It will be a free hit to Scotland. Full press once again from Ireland. Paul Dixon sliding across into the right-hand side of the field. Great work from him, along with Mark Murray. Unfortunately, Kenny McNally just getting the ball there from Scotland now. Got a man at the top who looks for him. Great pick from the Irish. Now they have numbers down the left-hand side. The number six, Sterrett, will be looking for a deflection, but unfortunately can't find it. Sterrett just lagging behind his defender in the D there, but still in with a chance here is Sterrett to make amends for that mistake. Lovely pressure from the Irishman. Wins the free hit on the line for his team. A lovely blind press happening here from Scotland as they win the ball back with the number forward. Man has gone down in the middle of the field. Chased now by Neil Sharp is the number 46 for Ireland. Big transfer happening here for the captain, Andrew Cook. Oh, there's another collision. And this one will be another card for the Scot. Another five minute yellow. Another five minute period here for the Irish to try and get a goal. They attack now down the right hand side. Peter Pollock on the ball. Sends it down to Ian Getty, but unfortunately couldn't get on the end of that. That'll be another 16 for Scotland. Ireland once again committing to the full press. You feel that the number 36 of Said Reid needs to cover the left back 
roll. And there we go. As I say, that Reed makes a lovely tackle. Big ball comes up the line, intercepted by the Irish, but unfortunately rolls over the sideline. Big hit from the Scots. Takes a deflection from an Irish player. Keeper tries to make the kick, but unfortunately misses. It will be a long corner to the Scots. The Irish having plenty of possession and territory once again in this quarter, but just can't convert in the final quarter. Neil Sharp on the ball. Looks around the back. Cotton now fiddling with the ball in the left-hand corner, not really having much direction. One back by the number six of Sterrett. Also having a great game is David Sterrett. Great work pressing. Now the overhead gets thrown to the number 30 of Ian Getty. Can he find his forwards in the D? Ball comes across, takes a deflection. The left back will pick it up. A lovely ball down to the left forward. Of Ireland, can he find a foot? Bit of obstruction, umpires deem it to be fair. Number 36 now, Reed looking for a ball into the midfield, picked up by the centre back. Scotland, if they can turn the ball over here, will have a good counter opportunity. Lovely overhead chucked by Pollock down into the right corner. Ball comes into the D. It is a free hit to Ireland just outside on the five meter. Once again, the captain, Andrew Cook, is on the ball, looking to play it quickly to Murray. Big hit out to Galway, who looks for a, hit, a straight entry into the D. He gets the shot away, forces the save by the keeper, but unfortunately, the umpire deems that to have hit the back of the stick. Ireland once again, really committing to this full court press. Sterrett now charging down the centre back. Scotland in a bit of trouble here. Great play by the centre back to put on the foot of David Sterrett. Nothing much he can do. Scotland in possession of the ball again. Big hit. Another. Bit of a tumble in the midfield, but the danger man of Murray in the midfield now takes an unfortunate deflection. The number 14 for Scotland, Stuart O'Tooley, is now on the ball. Donald McFarlane looking for a ball up the line. Won't find anybody. It will be a 16 2 Ireland. Murray fires it out to the right hand side. Up the line. Once again for Ireland. Takes a touch from Mike McEwen. From the Scottish side. He's also had a very good game. A workhorse, workhorse on the left hand side of the field there. Possession now in the hands of Hanlon who looks for a short corner. Won't find it. Will be a long corner. Awarded to Ireland. Mark Murray on the ball. Plenty of green jerseys inside the D. Can they find one? The big hit comes. Mis miscommunication there between Murray and Reed. Gives Scotland the possession once again, but Reed, a great tackle there. Now Ireland with the D entry. Looking for an outcome. We'll find a foot and a short corner 
is awarded to the Irish. The third one of the game. With just over four minutes left on the clock here, Ireland will have to convert this if they want to keep their dreams of winning this match alive. None other than Peter Pollock on top D waiting for the ball. The injection comes, it's good. Peter Pollock with the drag flick. Just misses the target. It takes a deflection off a Scotland stick. It will be a long corner. Mark Murray once again on the ball. Moves at five. Bit of a stick tackle there from Neil Sharp. Peter Pollock on the ball, sends a big, big crash ball in, takes a deflection off a Scotland stick. It's still with Ireland in the bottom right-hand corner of the field. Ireland looking for something on the right-hand side. To Peter, Parker, Peter Pollock with the... The big hit, let's see what he can pull out the hat here for his side. Throws a massive overhead outside the D. The danger is called for Ireland. They will still have possession as the Scots ran in front of the Ireland player receiving the ball there, creating the danger. The number eight now, Stephen Galway on the ball. Ball comes in for the number 46. Great save from Scotland and a hit is awarded out. Great passage of defending from Scotland here, as they've done throughout this game. Once again, the number 30 in Ian Getty running down the baseline. Looking for a short corner, is awarded a long corner. Mark Murray once again on the ball here from the top. Looks for his counterpart, and unfortunately, just can't pick that one up. Landing on his foot with two minutes left. Seems as if the writing possibly on the wall here for Ireland. Bit of obstruction there from the number 46 in Neil McNeil. Neil McKay, sorry. Scotland now with the ball. Neil McRae distributed into the middle. Dispossessed by the number 35 in Paul Kingston. Murray once again on the ball. Of course, it's two safety. Number 30 for Scotland. Ian Getty on the run down the right hand side looking for the inside ball to Dixon. Can't find it. Murray still on the ball. Kingston now running down the left hand side. He's got options in the D. A massive tackle comes in. Scotland very fortunate to get away with just a free hit there. Murray fires it, but it hits a deflection off a Scottish stick. Lands favorably for the Scots. They'll look to slow the ball down here. Ireland once again on the attack. The ball comes into the D. Finds Mark. Finds a centre forward, who just can't do anything with that. Scotland now holding firm. Great tackle there from the number 35 in Kingston. Unfortunately, Ireland losing the ball. Neil Sharp is taking charge here, slowing the game down. Scotland very happy to just slow it down once again. Some words being said there between the two teams with just seconds left on the clock. Can Scotland get anything out here? Ireland now through Dixon on the right hand side. And that is the final hooter of what was a cracker of a game. Scotland taking the win by two goals to nil over Ireland.
it has been an awesome display of hockey from both sides. Ireland holding most of the possession. Scotland getting two quick fire goals in the third quarter from short corners against the run of play, some would say. It's been an absolute show stopper for the boy, from the boys in blue in their defensive efforts. Stay tuned for some quality men's over 55 hockey coming up next after the break.